Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your physical SIM card into eSIM card without having to contact your carrier. So starting with iOS 16, now you can have your phone use an eSIM card instead of an actual physical SIM card, which makes things a lot more simpler and easier to do when it comes to activating your phone um, cellular plan on your iPhone. So First thing is you need to make sure your iPhone, of course, is compatible, which the eSIM is compatible on iPhone XS, XR, XS Max, and anything newer. Anything older than that, unfortunately, doesn't support eSIM card. Now, the other thing you need to do is be on iOS 16 at the minimum. So if you haven't upgraded to iOS 16, you need to upgrade to iOS 16. And of course, you also want to make sure you're initially connected to the internet when you're doing this setup through Wi-Fi. And of course, the last thing you need is a carrier that supports eSIM card. Most carriers in the US supports eSIM card, but some smaller carriers don't. So something you'll have to look up in your carrier. So once you're ready to convert your physical SIM card, it's really simple. All you do is go into your settings of your iPhone, and then all you do is go to cellular here. And once you go on cellular, you have a couple options here. And But the option you'll see here is convert to eSIM card. Now, if you don't see this option and you're on iOS 16 and a phone that's compatible, most likely your carrier doesn't support this option to convert your physical SIM card into eSIM card. So all you have to do in order to convert it is click on, you click on it, your carrier number and the SIM card should show up here. I'm just covering mine so you don't see my personal number, but it should say your carrier and then your phone number. And all you do is after that hit is convert to eSIM. And then it will say, do you want to convert? As you can see here, once you convert it, basically will be able to go back. So you'll want to hit that convert to eSIM, which I'll do here. And once I'm doing it, as you can see, it's starting to activate now. And the process has begun. And generally, this again should be really cool. Once you're successfully have converted to an eSIM card from a physical one, and you took out the physical SIM card, your menu should look like this where it says delete eSIM card. That means your physical SIM card has been converted to an eSIM card. That's why you get the delete option instead of convert. And you can add up to eight or more uh, eSIM card, but you can use two numbers at the same time. So that's going to be another thing to take a note at. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.